In my house, Zoe, it's always time for breakfast. You never know when I'm going to get out of bed. I work quite late sometimes. So what we're going to do is make a uh, breakfast wrap cool. with all my favourite ingredients. Yes. Now, to start with, I've got a bowl there. I've got an avocado and wow. some lime uh, and yeah, some coriander beautiful. here. So you're going to make like a guacamole. Nice. I've also got a salsa here with some uh, tomato dice, some onion, some coriander and some chilli. Whack a bit of olive oil in there, salt and pepper and mix it around. And hopefully by then I'll have everything else ready. Perfect. Now, in my pan here, you can see some lovely crispy bacon. I can bacon. see your favourite ingredient. Yes, oh, I can. Favourite ingredient. You know it's going to be breakfast time when the bacon's cooking. Mind you, you do put in other meals apart from breakfast. Just about any meal I can, actually. Yes, exactly. Now, what I've got is some uh, some red beans here, some tin beans, and I just crushed them with a fork. Nice. What I'm going to do is what they call refried beans. You know? nice, so I just yum. pop them in here and fry them off and break them up a little bit. And they get a little bit of crunch to them. But because Beautiful. they're cooked already, they're ready to go. Now what I'll do is I'll just make sure I'll drop a little bit of extra virgin olive oil here oh, to get the frying action going. But I've also got plenty of fat from my uh, from my bacon <laughs> as well. But you've got to make sure you've got some pepper in there and a pinch of salt. And I'll just give that a bit of a toss and get that going. You can see the bacon's got a nice little crisp. crisp. Yeah, I can. It's got a little crisp. <laughs> to it. There we go. Now I've got some eggs here, four eggs, nice pinch of salt goes into the eggs and with a fork I whiz it around till it all becomes incorporated Beautiful. and mixed in together. Now what I'm going to do is scramble some eggs, get the uh, the wraps out and then we're going to okay. put them all together. Now the great thing when you're actually cooking scrambled eggs, you're using yep. the butter for good and what that <laughs> does is actually tells me the temperature of the pan and you can see the butter is just melting very very slowly which is what I want, a nice gentle heat to scramble eggs. Now what I'll do with my wooden spoon, I'll just stir that butter around. You can see it's just starting to bubble up a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll pop my eggs straight in there. Have a look at I that. I actually uh, make a mean scrambled eggs using virgin coconut oil. Ah, oh, they'd be it's like your really tropical, tropical uh, scrambled eggs. It's actually not go. that uh, coconutty by the end of it. It's just amazing, creamy and beautiful, a little bit of water. Trust me, it works. Perfect. It's a winner in my household. Perfect. And what and I'll I've do got is a I'll fussy husband. <laughs> you've got a very fussy husband, I believe, and I'm sure you cook lovely meals for him. That I love dearly. There we go. Now I've got the uh, <laughs> I've got the uh, the scrambled eggs whizzing around. Beautiful. I love my scrambled eggs to have a little bit of chive in there. Now Zoe, what I'm going to get you to do is to move all that stuff yep. aside I'm just getting because this last we need little bit to here. put these two down. For Perfect. me, a scrambled egg wrap has to be wrapped up in foil and baking paper. Have a look at that. The scrambled eggs have come Beautiful. together really quickly. Quick, isn't it? Exactly. And a little tip, if you want to stop the eggs from cooking anymore, just put in a little knob of butter. <laughs> I find that just slows the egg down because there's nothing oh, worse than overcooked funny. egg. Now it's time to layer everything up. We'll just grab yep. these uh, wraps Beautiful. here. And I'll show you, there's a little trick here. They've actually got their own sealable, uh, oh, sealable things. So when you pop them back in, they stay nice and fresh. That's really smart because that's often you know, the case when you've got wraps is that they often, you know, unless you wrap them in some cling film or something like that. There we go. Pop that like that. Seal it off like that. You can see it sticks down and then they're perfect for the next time we use them. On we go mm. like that. Now the scrambled eggs are the hero here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put half the scrambled eggs on this side and half nice. on your side there, Zoe. And now we can yeah. start layering it up. You've got Beautiful. the guacamole there. I've got the guac. There we go. There you go. And some I've, guac for you, uh, some, some guac, for, guac me. for me. And I've got some uh, some nice. bacon and some refried Whoa. beans there. Look at that. Now just this move over there because yeah. I don't want to burn no, you, Zoe. No, please there don't. We go. And I'll pop some on top of there. Turn the gas Ooh. off. And do you know what? The salsa is fa a fabulous oh. idea because it's, obviously it's quite a rich breakfast. You need something to break it you up do. a little bit. You need that acid in there. Exactly. And what I'll do oh. now, this is a little trick. You just fold the bottom over there like okay. that. I think and I might have got like a bit too that. excited by <laughs> I think you've done, you've got really excited by uh, the breakfast. I just fold it over like that. And then with yep. the baking paper, I just fold the bottom over like that. Beautiful. Fold it up at the bottom and I use the foil just to roll it round like that and then tuck it in the bottom there and roll it round and you've got a great breakfast wrap. Oh, oh look at that Zoe, this will be guaranteed to give you enough energy to get through the rest of the day and probably the next two days as well. Mm. You know what? Mm. I love the salsa in it. Mm. It really is needed but it is really tasty.